Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's me, Dr. V. Jay Kumar. I am making lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. If this is your first time or not yet subscribed to the channel yet, please press the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified all my forthcoming brand new videos. Now let's get started with today's topic. In this video, we are going to discuss about kinematic pairs and their types. Initially, we will present different types of constrained motions, then definition of kinematic pair, finally classification of kinematic pairs with illustrations will be presented. In the flowchart of machine, we have already discussed about kinematic links and their types in our previous video. A joint of two links will form a kinematic pair. A kinematic pair should result into a completely or successfully constrained motion. So in this video, we will be talking about different types of constrained motions and different types of kinematic pairs. The three types of constrained motions in kinematic pairs are completely constrained motion, incompletely constrained motion, and successfully constrained motion. First, let us understand completely constrained motion. Consider the example shown here. Sliding rectangular bar moving in a rectangular hole. When the relative motion between two links is limited to a definite direction, then that motion is said to be a completely constrained motion. In this case, link one can only slide. Now consider another example. Circular shaft with a collar, which is the link one, can only rotate inside the round hole. It cannot translate. That means it results into a definite direction. So this is also an example of a completely constrained motion. Now we will move on to second type, which is incompletely constrained motion. Consider a circular shaft moving in a circular hole. In this case, the circular shaft will have two types of motion. The circular shaft can have a rotational motion as well as reciprocating, that is sliding motion. So when the relative motion between two links can take place, in more than one direction, then the motion is called an incompletely constrained motion. Finally, we have a successfully constrained motion. In this type, the incompletely constrained motion is successfully converted into a completely constrained motion by means of some other external means. The incompletely constrained motion of a circular shaft in a circular hole can be successfully constrained to a pure rotational motion without sliding motion by providing a key way in the circular shaft. Let us see the meaning of a kinematic pair. A kinematic pair is a joint of two links that permits relative motion. Consider a cam and follower mechanism where cam is the link one and follower is the link two. When these two links are connected in such a way that their relative motion is completely or successfully constrained, then those two links form a kinematic pair. We say cam follower mechanism should have a completely or successfully constrained motion. We mean that for a given rotation of a cam, the follower displacement must be constant, the same always. That should be the nature of a kinematic pair. Let us see few examples of kinematic pairs. Let us consider an IC engine. IC engine is a machine which employs a slider crank mechanism. The slider crank mechanism has four links namely fixed link also known as frame, 
crank, connecting rod and slider. When fixed link and the crank will have a relative motion, they form a kinematic pair. Similarly, crank and connecting rod form pair two. Connecting rod and piston will be forming the third pair. Finally, piston and the fixed link cylinder will form the fourth pair. Thus, the slider crank mechanism has four links and also four kinematic pairs. Now we shall classify kinematic pairs. Kinematic pairs can be classified into many types based on the three consideration. Depending upon the nature of the relative motion between the links, depending on the nature of the contact between the links and depending on the nature of mechanical arrangement between the links. Kinematic pairs based on the nature of relative motion can be classified into six types namely sliding pair, turning pair, screw pair, cylindrical pair, spherical pair and rolling pair. First let us discuss sliding pair. Sliding pair is also known as a prismatic pair. When two links link 1 and 2 have a sliding motion relative to each other, it is known as sliding pair. Here you can see a sliding crank mechanism in which piston slides. So piston and cylinder forms the sliding pair. The second type is turning or revolute pair. In the diagram shown, the shaft with the two collars rotates in a bearing, which forms a turning pair. As you could see in the planetary gear train, the shaft turns with respect to the gear and the ends they form a turning pair. The third type is screw or helical pair. In this screw pair, one link is constrained to have a combination of turning and sliding motion relative to the other pair. Even nut and bolt forms the screw pair. The fourth type is cylindrical pair. Cylindrical pair allows both translation and rotation motion. As you could see in the diagram, the links one and two form a cylindrical pair. The fifth type is spherical or globular pair. In a spherical pair, one link is constrained to swivel in or about the other fixed point. A ball and socket joint shown represent the spherical pair. Sixth type is rolling pair. When one link is free to roll over the other, it forms a rolling pair. A ball and roller bearing forms a rolling pair. Kinematic pairs can also be classified based on the nature of contact between the links as lower pair and higher pair. If a kinematic pair in motion has a surface or area contact between the two links, it is called a lower pair. As you could see, piston has surface contact with the cylinder, nut has surface contact with the bolt, and the spherical contact as surface contact. So they are all typical examples of lower pair. In a higher pair, two links will have either a line or point contact between them. As you could see, cam and knife edge follower, cam and roller follower will have line contact. And also ball bearings will have point contact. Therefore, they form a higher pair. Finally, kinematic pairs can also be classified depending upon mechanical arrangements for constraining motion as self-closed pair and force-closed pair. In self-closed pair, two links of a pair are held mechanically. As you could see, the piston and the cylinder arrangements are held mechanically. Even here, ball and bearings are held mechanically together. 
they are examples of self closed pair in force closed pair two links of a pair are not held together mechanically instead they are kept in contact by the action of external forces say spring or gravity the cam and follower arrangement shown uses spring in order to keep them together finally key takeaways from this lecture video are summarized here for your reference that's it hope this video helped you if so support the work by liking this video sharing it to your friends subscribing the channel and hitting notification bell icon thanks for watching take care bye